The main product, however, is the Ops Fast Response Pants. I'm going to call them trousers because they are trousers. Uh, these are in AOR2, which, as any of you out there who are into gear will know, is a very specific um, and not widely available camouflage pattern produced for, well, by, I think it was by Clarkson, um for special ops, sneaky types, um, Navy SEALs in particular. Uh, I've been seen using the uh, AOR patterns, AOR1 being the desert variant, obviously in, in lots of brown and tan, AOR2 being for woodlands, light brown, green, black type colours. Same you know, individual plastic bag. Uh, I've gone for a small regular waist size on the 32 inch waist. Um, they actually recommend the medium for the 32, but I've got a pair of their direct actions um, already in the medium and they're, they're just too big on me. So these do come up large basically. So if you're on the borderline size wise, then uh, I'd go one size down than what you might usually get. So then, fast response pants. What is this? I just said I'd call them fast response trousers. Starting from the top out front. Closure, Velcro, and then buttons. Got one, two, three, three buttons. Um, pretty standard kind of button there. I'm sure the, the plastic they've used pretty high quality. There's certainly plenty of stitching to hold it on. I'm not seeing that going anywhere. Um, belt loops are nice and wide, should be good and good and sturdy. They've got plenty of the stitching holding them in. Plenty of them as well. Got three on the back there. And you've got adjustments on both sides for uh, the actual your waist um, size depending so you can uh, basically undo this velcro and then smaller or larger depending on uh, how to make them well depending on your specific size so you can make them fit exactly your body um, the way you want them to be next up uh, front pockets velcro closure on these um, got them on both legs, left and right. Uh, they will be for, uh, I think you could get probably a magazine in there, um, other small items. Primary pockets are not, as with the craze, um, on the side of the leg, they are around, but they'll actually be behind you when you're wearing these, um, as opposed to sort of down that side area as is the conventional design. They're not massive, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. They're quite, they're quite deep um, and it's quite a tall pocket, but not that wide. Um, baffled at the sides for uh, um, basically ensuring that they sit flat when there's nothing in them, but they can expand to ca uh, carry more kit. Obviously those are on both left and right sides. Seat area, we are actually going to be sitting down when you are sitting down. Got extra layer of material on it for reinforcement, which is always a nice thing to see. Because you don't want, because uh, on common wear areas like that, any good piece of uniform, um, trousers, jacket, whatever, you want to be seeing those reinforced areas on the, um, on the seat, on the knees, that sort of thing. Moving down, next thing down is the uh, actual adjustment around the knee area so you can tighten them up around that sort of centre area of your leg. Velcro just enables you to you know, set them as loose or as tight as you want them to be. Knee pads, these come with pockets for internally mounted knee pads. As with the cry design, Although, personally, I think better than the cry design. They've got the elastic there to enable you um, to just sort of 
it just makes them a bit more comfortable when you are kneeling down that it has the stretch in that area. Um, seeing as this is of course going to be a high wear area in front of the knees, it's got an extra layer of material on top. Access to the knee pads through there. Knee pads come included in the price, you don't have to pay for these separately. They don't um, stick out as with um, some other designs, um, the, the cry combat uniforms sort of stick out. But I, I would imagine if you were to buy some cry knee pads, get someone who's half decent with a sewing machine, they can cut a hole there the right size and just stitch up the edges and you could use molded plastic knee pads. As I said, they come with molded foam pads. Like so. Um, and you're just sitting there obviously so uh, when you're kneeling down that's going to be taking all the force of the stones and tree roots and everything else that wants to fuck up your knee joints and there's a lot of things out there that want to do that especially when you've got a lot of weight on your back um, you don't want um, gravel on the ground and stones and lumps to be sticking into your kneecaps it's not fun Let's see if I can get one of these in. Just uh, inserts into the external pouch like so. Tight fit, but then you're not going to be taking these in and out. You're just going to put them in and leave them there. So it's not a problem. Easy enough to fit. Let's get the Velcro closed up behind it. And there you go, that's one knee pad fitted. And that will make things a lot more comfortable for you when you're kneeling down. Move down. Uh, what else we got? Oh, there's another pouch right on the calf. The pouch pocket, even. Velcro closure. Quite a small, narrow pocket, but um, still quite tall. You've got elasticated loops for. I'm not sure what you'd be hanging off that that far down your leg. It's actually there's sort of there's loops here and then you've got pockets. So uh, some long thin object. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't have thought pens or flares. Um, not sure what the idea behind those is, but you can store, you can hang something in there. <laughs> Ankles got a Velcro closure, so you can uh, indeed adjust the amount of. Openingness, which isn't a word, but mm, fuck it, we'll go with it. Uh, on the ends of the uh, charger there to tighten them around your boots. And obviously, all of that stuff is mirrored down the other leg. Um, no actual extra material around the ankles, unfortunately, which is a shame. The, the ultimate direct action trousers that Ops do have 500 denier cordura. Around the uh, around that ankle area, because obviously when you're running along, this is going to be um, low-lying plants, any ground um, gravel, sand that kicks up off the ground is going to be abrasive on this area of material. But end of the day, it's you can I don't know if you'll be able to see the crisscross pattern in the material, but it is ripstop. Um, I'm not, I think it's a nylon cotton mix. I'm pretty certain it would probably be 50-50. Uh, uh, you, you'll be able to find that out on the website. I can't remember off the top of my head, I'm afraid. But um, not many companies making um, uh, any uniforms in this pattern. It's not very common. Uh, ops make stuff to a very high standard at a good price. So, yeah, impressed with those. Good to see that they've continued there standards that I've come to expect of them. Um, overall, yeah, definitely um, highly recommended. Uh, yeah, that's that for the, uh, for now guys, just the two products this time, but the trousers were $140, so yeah, <laughs> they are, uh, usually if I was going to buy stuff from a website as far as away as Hong Kong, I'd wait until I wanted some more things, but those were just, I mean, like I said, this is not a common camo pattern. 
they probably would have, if I'd left it a couple of weeks more, they probably would have sold out. So I went ahead, picked them up. Um, I didn't actually, they also do their design of underbody armor combat shirt, u backs in at the AOR2 as well. I didn't go for it. I had the money and I considered it, but I didn't go for it because I'm not a massive fan of their design. I haven't tried it in person, but from what I've seen online, I decided against buying that. Even though it would have had a night, um, would have been nice to have the u backs to match with the trousers. Um, it's, uh, that it, for some reason they've gone with down, right down the centre portion. Obviously, with the U-backs, the arms and sort of using it just across this area will be standard um, sort of nylon cotton mix ripstop material. And then this centre portion is more like a T-shirt. Uh, with theirs, uh, in, a lot of designs will have a zip, but it'll only be about that long. With theirs, they've got a zip the whole way down, which I don't think would be very comfortable when you've got your body armor vest whatever pressing down on there you've got a zip running all the way down I'm not I'm not certain that would be uh, too good I may give it a go someday um, just to review it just to see but for now I've uh, decided against it um, but you know uh, hopefully someone else out there has bought one so I shall look around and uh, see if there's any opinions out there online um, yeah that's uh, that's all for this time. Everyone, thank you for watching. Much appreciated. And uh, I'll see you next time.